What's up? I just want to say one thing to the USPS. Sir, I'm rooting for you. I've been over here screaming loud and proud. Save the postal service. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. I support you. I stand you. I love you. I pay you a lot of money monthly. So why did you have to do me like this? All right, I'm going to tell you guys a quick little story. Come here. Or stay right there, it's fine. So when this collection actually launched, which you guys know exactly when that was, I'm not about to pull up a calendar date, okay? I just remember it was a Friday. I think this was Homegirl's birthday collection. She wanted a nautical theme. I guess she's just really into grandmother's bathrooms. I don't know. I ordered this collection right when it launched, okay? And I was so ready. You wanna know how ready I was? So. And then, because I have recently moved and haven't changed my address, and I haven't had that thing where you like forward your old packages to your new address, and I no longer live at the other place, my stuff got sent back. So then I had to reorder it. And when I had first ordered it, I bought the bundle with the lashes, with everything. And I bought two so I could give one away. So y'all should be mad about this as well. But when I got the email that like my stuff got sent back because of the change of address and like my address name wasn't found and yada, yada, yada. I was pretty mad. I did pay a lot of money and a lot of freaking Trump dollars. And I wanted to call my lawyer, but then I was like, calm down, Karen. Just reorder it because the stuff was actually thankfully still in stock so I just went ahead and reordered it and that's the story of why this video took such a long time because usually I'm like there these are small who are these supposed to fit I bought these so I could like do like a little sailor moment who the flip are these supposed to fit this is the sailor collection by Kylie Jenner I don't know what it's actually called the nautical collection the Tommy Hilfiger collection the Zoe Discovery Channel collection uh, oh, you guys weren't supposed to see that. Wait, did I not get the lip bundle? Oh no! Yo, where's my flippin' invoice? First of all, where'd you go? Honestly, I think they made a typo. Uh, turns out it was their fault. We're gonna make this freaking work anyway. Come here. Mm. board horse. The theme of the video today is I'm just gonna keep blaming other people, even though it was so obviously my mistake. And honestly, you guys could either stick with the theme or leave because she's not in the place in her menstrual cycle to really deal with it right now, okay? Okay. This palette is super cute. The actual packaging and stuff, it's adorable. I did wear this striped sweater because it really was the most Zoe DeSante thing I own. But her eyes look really cute and she looks very, um, smart. <gasps> I know exactly what look I'm gonna do because I'm looking at these raspberries and I'm like, yes, yes. So these are the Kylie Jenner shadow sticks in Rock the Boat and Sandy Cheeks. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Tidal Wave just to start off this eye look. Where are all my blending brushes? I swear I have so many and then I go to find them and they're like, we left for vacation. Emergency numbers are on the fridge, thing. Except like, we don't have a fridge. I will say, ever since I reviewed the very first eyeshadow palette, I feel like her eyeshadows have gone through some improvement because the first interaction we had, yo, I almost wanted to tell Kylie to square up and maybe recheck that no return policy. Pero like, ever since then, I feel like she has been upping her eyeshadow formulas because this eyeshadow blended out with no trouble and the tone itself is really, really, really pretty. We're gonna go into tight ship now and ooh, the kickback is real. As I mentioned before, kickback isn't really a big deal for me. I really don't mind it as long as the pigment comes with it. Like, don't be messy and then do nothing for me. Do something, contribute in some way. Take out the garbage can, help me with the dishes, make sure my plumbing's good. But in this case, like, just give me pigment, you know? What she's doing. Just because I wanna try it, guys, I'm gonna grab Total Catch. And I'm gonna grab my Scott Bar 6 brush because we found him and we're reunited and I will never ever let you go. I love red eyeshadows, which is funny because I'm not the biggest fan of red lipstick or at least i'm very picky and i'm also not the biggest fan of red clothing just don't really feel like it suits me but eyeshadows give it all to me i want to look like i spend all my money at hot topic and drink my coffee black please yeah so this is one of those eyeshadow looks that's gonna look real ugly in the beginning and then honestly it might look real ugly in the end but we're experimenting okay it's what we do here do you guys remember those old commercials verb it's what you do no 
cool. Yo, this red is the hardest of all the other shades I have used to really blend out. I mean, it is blending out, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely the hardest out of all the other ones that I'm blending out, but it's also the most pigmented. That just tends to happen when a color is super pigmented. Sometimes the blending it out is not the easiest. Nothing the Scott Barn 6-2 brush can't handle though. Should we go in with Shipwreck or Yacht Party? Let's watch, shall we? Okay, so that was Shipwreck. Shipwreck is definitely a pressed glitter. Ooh. So Shipwreck kind of lived to its name, but Yacht Party. Oh, we're going to that. Invite your man and your Sancho, yo, because it's lit, as Travis Scott would say, which oops. <gasps> Wait, no, 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 no. This is what I was gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, this one, which is Rock the Boat, and we're gonna create a little creamsicle base, which will help boost the other glitters and the sparkle in the sheen because it gives it something tacky to adhere to. So watch me whip this and then also Nene. Much, much, much better. Let's see if I can use my finger. I feel like my finger would do more justice here. This eyeshadow palette's definitely giving me a lot of fallout. Not the mattes so much. The mattes are actually pretty dope, but the shimmers, but that's so expected, guys. And shout out to my nails, okay? I know they're kind of dirty, but I grew these myself. Somebody noticed it in my comment section the other day, and honestly, it was the best comment ever. She was like, oh my God, are those real? And I was like, <laughs> Obviously. And then she was like, no, be your nails. And I was like, oh, they actually are. I actually could grow these myself. It was a moment. Wow, Gloria. You are one impressive semen. That sounded weird. I'm gonna be using the One Size Point Made Eyeliner by Patrick Star. I just really like this eyeliner and it's like right here. So BRB. Yo, Kylie. I really had my heart set on buying that nude combo that she had. And I honestly thought I had it, but I guess I didn't order it. And that's disappointing, but it's fine. I do have the Kylie Jenner High Gloss in Private Island, which is, I'm pretty sure, the red gloss that the whole collection came with. I would have used this, guys, but the thing is, I don't like... First of all, I'm not the biggest fan of red lipsticks. Not that I don't love red lipsticks, because I do, but I just think on me, it takes so much out of me to wear a bright red lipstick lip and when I do it has to be matte. I don't really like glossy red lips. It's just too much can go bad and I don't trust it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it over here and we'll go ahead and talk about this little stack later. But for now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys that I think this eyeshadow was bomb. This very much impressed me because the last time I tried anything Kylie Jenner or any collection Kylie Jenner it was the Kendall Times Kylie which I was hyped about. I really hope they do a Kendall Times Kylie too and this time they actually give us what the good lord intended for us to get because I swear that collection made me want to sue everybody and their mamas and their high school principals because damn. Like the eyeshadow palette was all right, but even then I was expecting the whole collection to be a banger. But you know what? I I bitches. This eyeshadow palette was really good, very pigmented. I love the red, although the red kind of blends out into like a raspberry red. So it's not a true, true red. Either way, I still really like it. I still really enjoy it. And the shadow sticks are fun. I really like shadow sticks because they're just easy. But okay, we know I approve it. We no, I'm with it and I gave it a two of these. So now let's move on to the thing that you guys probably actually really do care about, which is the giveaway. I'm pretty sure you guys already put two and two together and knew I was gonna do a giveaway because I basically just outed myself in the beginning of this video. So you guys will be receiving an eyeshadow palette, the shadow sticks, and the gloss that I will just never use. I'd rather pass it on to somebody who's actually gonna use it, love it, and enjoy it. All you're gonna do to win this giveaway, baby girl, it's so simple. Ask me how simple it is. Go ahead, ask. You don't even gotta ask 
Trust me, that's how simple it is. You gotta like the video, share the video, be following me, and comment. Hmm, I should have these prepared before I even sit down to film. Oops. Comment your favorite GIF down below. Yeah, I've never done that before, but go ahead and comment your favorite GIF down below or your comment could be anything today. You know, we never do that. We never do like, it, it's always themed, but today because we went so hard on the nautical theme, we don't gotta do that today. Today, you know what, just comment anything down below. Anything, 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 but just go ahead and comment down below. And then I'm going to pick somebody at the end of the month and then I will be sending this whole kit to you. I'll go ahead and pop these in here just so I don't forget and everything is like nice and protected in one sheath. That's also a weird word. Look at this. It's very nice and protected. I take care of you. I love you. I look out for you. We are boys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, I know I talked a lot of ish, but I want to thank the U.S. Postal Service because at the end of the day, they came through. And then, honestly, it's fine. I got it. Who's on my doorbell? Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. I'm hungry.